This is the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class Bumblebee. This is the mainline Deluxe Class Bumblebee. I picked up this figure from Toys R Us at Vivo City in Singapore. And you can clearly see it's a little bit banged up and dinged and all that because I stuffed this in the in my suitcase without wrapping it or anything that because I really didn't have space in the luggage. And you know, Hasbro with their super premium uh <laughs> type of uh, paper or cardboard that they use for their packaging. I'm surprised that uh, these bits stayed alive. I mean, I got some tears here, here, and you know, I, I guess it's my fault for just stuffing it in my suitcase. I mean, I should have known Hasbro, you know, they, they would have made a more fragile type of box. I should have been more careful. It's completely my fault. And uh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Some rips there. I just super glued those parts right there. So, you know. And here is Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class Bumblebee out of the box. And you know what, guys? I honestly tried to... I did my best to really like this figure, to really find all the positives in it, which I normally try and do. But I hate to say it, but this figure is one big hot mess. It is an absolutely crazy, crazy, ridiculous figure just to play around and fidget with. Transformation is a complete nightmare. He has some redeeming qualities, you know, probably just a few, a handful of redeeming qualities. But overall, the toy is just very frustrating. So head to toe, the figure stands at about 13 centimeters tall or about five and one eighth inches tall. For comparisons, here he is with fellow deluxe class uh, figure, Air Razor. And here he is with other Bumblebee figures in the Rise of the Beast line. We have the Battle Changers Bumblebee and the Studio Series Deluxe Class of Bumblebee. So the figure comes with a slew of weapons. He's got these vibro swords or energon swords or whatever that uh, kind of look like mufflers that he just stripped off of a car, another car, and turned them into swords. Incidentally, they, they also form the front grill of the alt mode. You combine them and boom, look at that. Uh, but the, the, the bad thing about it is, well, it is ridiculously difficult to remove and pull apart. I don't know. It's just useless. And here, here's the coolest bit about this toy. He comes with a shield. Seriously, Hasbro, this is a shield. Oh, okay. I might have put it back, put it wrong. Because the instructions tell you to put it this way, but I might have, it might have been wrong. Maybe you should put it this way so it'll actually protect something. Like you could do all John Wick and go, <laughs> seriously. I mean, Hasbro, really? That's a shield? Okay. And then we come to the figure itself. This tab will not stay in place. I've, I've done my best. It, it, will, it will tab in. If you push up this, this abdomen piece, just push it up his chest, it will kind of stay, but it loves to pop off. The proportions are so weird. He looks like a dragonfly with the, or a, a stork. I, I don't know. The legs, I think, are too long. Torso is too short. The wings are just way too big. And look at this horrendous backpack he's got on. It just... Oh. There probably has been a better way to fold this. You could have, you could have made it just slide up and reach to cover that those wheels. I don't know. The neck will not stay in place. The neck is just way too high. Uh, most of the bits are unpainted. But you know what? Probably one thing good about this is plastic quality. Plastic quality is definitely not cheap. It is pretty solid. Even the clear bits are pretty solid so okay can uh, some redeeming qualities and you're wondering if he has a blaster because the studio series had a removable blaster and this one much like the battle changers version has a blaster gimmick right here you just pull out slightly slide out that hand and just rotate and then pop it back in and there you have an unpainted well sculpted blaster actually <laughs> So I think that's pretty cool, you know, not entirely, not entirely horrible. So plastic quality good, blaster gimmick okay, head sculpt, yeah, it's it's what he looks like. But again, 
it could have been painted better. I mean, some silver paint, Electro Spark blue eyes, no Autobot logo. I mean, come on, Hasbro. The Studio Series didn't have an Autobot logo. Battle Changers didn't have any. This one didn't have any. Um, it should be right here. And, well, this one's fine. But this one might have been too small for them to tempo on. But they should have put something there. He's got a lot of paint apps in the torso, on the torso. He's got paint apps here for the car bits. He's got a paint right here. So that's cool. Studio Series did not have paint on the abs. Uh, but other than that, the paint apps just here. And some racing stripes, taillights. That's it. Articulation for the figure. He's got a ball-jointed neck and a hinge right here that allows him to look up. Man, there was, just should have been a peg right there to tab it in. Shoulders are on ball joints, forward, backward, in and out. You got a bicep rotation, hinge elbow. This wrist can swivel. He's got uh, ball jointed hips. Very, a little bit loose on my copy. He's got a waist swivel, but severely hindered by this, this backpack. He's got a hinge knee, that ratchet. Uh, ankles have the rocker tilt and can move up and down because of transformation. So what else? He's fun to flip around and, you know, yeah. Really annoying bits. He, the, the, the chest had already come off. Okay, uh, let's transform him. And here is a deal breaker for me. The transformation is absolutely ridiculous from robot mode to alt mode. Alt mode to robot mode is easy. Just pull him apart. He'll transform into robot mode. But getting him into car mode, just a big pain. Um, okay, so... Here's what you do. Oh, and I'm, I'm not done with the quality issues. Look at this pin right here. If you notice, it's already halfway out. Not half, halfway out. It's on its way out. Uh, when I opened the figure and tried to fiddle with him a bit, that whole this whole pin went up like that. So I don't know if I just got, like, again, a, a lemon. I mean, I'm so used to it by now. Hasbro, I keep getting the quality defect so let me know if the pin on your figure if you do intend to get this figure and you get it let me know if that pin loves to slide off because on my copy it just loves to slide off ridiculous so fold this like car bit right up there put the wings off to the side just to it's out of the way you want to fold up unpeg the whole torso assembly and then just line up everything this back part right here, it gave me just a, I mean, trouble because it's supposed to fold it this way. But when I was transforming back from car mode to alt mode, I had actually flipped it in the opposite direction. And there's a, there's some pegs right here that sh should prevent you from doing so. But I still was able to flip them down and it went through and there was no way to bring them back. There was no way because the pegs were so long. I had to shave off these pegs so I could just bring it back to the normal position. So be careful. The back part goes this way. That's the only way it goes. Do not force it the other way around because I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to compress the backpack. I forgot it went this way. I thought he could fold it up this way. And uh, yeah, just glad I was able to bring it back without completely shaving off these bits. So it still kind of still stays right there. Okay. Now you rotate this waist piece right here. And then you fold the feet. You can already see that, that those feet are just going to stick out so much. Okay, and then that peg right there underneath the neck, you're going to peg it back there. You're going to peg it onto the abs, and it, it just won't stay. Just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this peg didn't stay. You think a smaller peg will stay? No way. Okay, so then you want to just... You just want to fold and just fold the hood, the bonnet, over the fake bonnet right there. Just compress. And then the arms, you're just going to fold like this. Oh. And then just line up everything so that they're neat and tidy. And there you go. That's the car mode. No, I'm kidding. Let me just... Just tab the feet in, or the legs. Okay, and then these, the doors, they're going to just tab in like that. The arms, they're gonna tab onto those pegs on the thighs. 
Okay, and they're gonna stay right there. And then these bits right here, these flappy bits, they are I'm gonna tab onto the shoulders. Okay. I mean, the wheels are riveted, so I guess that's another plus. Yeah, they'll roll very smoothly. So that's cool. So, like I said, a handful of redeeming qualities. And there you go. That's it. Look at the mismatched colors. You've got lemon yellow paint right here on top. You've got banana yellow right here, canary or banana yellow here, canary yellow here, pineapple, melon yellow underneath. Just a whole fruit bouquet of colors, yellow colors. Uh, on, the, on Some guy left his fingerprint on it when the paint didn't dry yet, so... Great job, man. Great job. Thank you, Hasbro. I always get your... I love getting the quality defects from your production line. One last redeeming quality for this figure is... Is this alt mode? You can get Bumblebee without his uh, roll cage and grill. You can get him in his plain... I guess plain old uh, 70s Camaro alt mode without these. So, And then you can obviously attach, slide the grill. Okay, there we go. And then finally the front grill. You gotta plug it in right here. And there you go. There is Bumblebee all armored up, dolled up, and he rolls amazingly well. If you tab everything properly, he will roll very smoothly because of those riveted wheels. So, okay, well done, Hasbro. Look at those feet sticking out. For comparisons in alt mode, here are the two other Bumblebee figures I showed off earlier back in their alt mode. You've got the Beast, uh, Beast Changer. Uh, Bumblebee and the Studio Series Deluxe Class Bumblebee. I mean, look at that. Ugh. Okay. Honestly, the transformation for this one was a lot more satisfying than this one. Uh, I honestly prefer this figure over this one any day. Some final thoughts on this Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class of Bumblebee. Oh man, I absolutely hate this figure. This figure is going to get a 3 out of 10. I cannot in good conscience recommend this figure. It's just a big mess. The transformation was absolutely horrible. The proportions are just ridiculous. The weapons are ridiculous. The There's just too many kibble going on. It, this figure is not fun at all. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, I'm just, maybe I'm just overreacting because I got too many quality defects with the figure. Uh, there are some redeeming qualities. Like I said, the alt mode, you can remove the roll cage, the bumper, so you can get him in plain Camaro alt mode. Uh, he's got that rotating uh, fist that turns into a blaster. And... The plastic quality is okay. But other than that, I, I hate this figure. I, I honestly do. Um, <laughs> 3 out of 10, I think, is more than generous. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Rise of the Beasts Deluxe Class Bumblebee. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.